Okay, so I want to do another update. Um, what's the date today? Today is the 8th, 8th. April 8th. Um, yesterday was a success. Um, I got my treatment. We were worried because the first two treatments, uh, my blood pressure kept dropping and dropping and dropping. The first time I actually um, fainted, blacked out. Uh, the second time where they were supposed to make adjustment and they didn't, uh, the blood pressure dropped. I believe it was around, I think 60 something over 33, which is really low. And it just completely wiped me out. So yesterday um, they made some changes with that um, uh, plasma exchange. First they gave me a, a bag of uh, saline an hour before. So I was hydrated real good. Um, they upped my calcium, uh, the drip that was good and they ran the machine slower. I think that was the big deal because I, I guess apparently um, I reacted to the um, um, citrate, is that right? Citrate. Yeah. citrate. So the citrate, um, the liver has to metabolize it. And when I started getting tingling around my lips, I let her know, her know and she paused the machine and gave me a few minutes for my liver to metabolize it. And she apologized because she had upped the speed a little and she actually caused that. So they paused it for a few minutes, and then once I, the tingling went away, they let the machine go, and then they lowered it, the speed, and my blood pressure was constant throughout the whole thing. It was perfect. So I got the full treatment. Uh, I didn't have to leave, so I'm going to get two more treatments, and we're going to do the exact same thing. So I'm pretty excited about that. Good news. So it's good news for me. As far as how am I feeling, I'm getting a, a little more like sensation back first, it seems like. The strength isn't, isn't coming back. I think in my hands I'm getting a little bit of strength. Um, I don't know if they look better. Everyone says my hands look way better. That's how they move right now. Okay. Um, yesterday they, were, they worked a lot better after I got a massage on them. Um, so, um, yeah, so my hands. One thing I do notice is uh, it seems like I can flex more muscles. So like, I don't know if you can see this muscle, but I couldn't flex this muscle, any of these muscles at all. And now I got a little bicep action there. So that, I got a little, little, little forearm there. I see right there, I don't know if you can see it. But I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't flex any of this stuff here. And now I'm starting to flex it. Um, I did some PT today. I stood up a couple times and they moved me into the chair next to me. Um, it was pretty cool. When he left um, to get out of the chair, they had to use that crane. So they craned me up, brought me over here. And they're supposed to come back and put me in the chair. Much more comfortable. I can do exercises in that chair that I can't do in this bed. This bed sucks. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Okay, it's an air bed. I know it's, it, you can move it around, but it really does suck. I don't like it. So that's what's going on there. Let me, let me think, did I forget anything else? So this is the weekend. I had a lot of a lot of visitors come through. I, I, I don't think I can name all my visitors, but um, Friday night, Joker and Amber came through and they spent the night. Uh, they came all the way from Vegas. So if they can come from Vegas to come visit me, then some of you guys that live like five to 10 minutes away, you know, what's your excuse? But that's up to you if you guys wanna come visit me or not. But I'd love to see you guys. Um, other visitors, uh, Amy Abad came to visit me on the 6th. That was uh, the anniversary of um, her father's passing. Uh, that meant a lot to me. It was very special that she came out and she spent some time here. So um, other friends came through. Um, I get uh, daily visits from my family and um, my brother, both my brothers. My sister comes when she can. My mom's here a lot. Um, my wife Joanne spent the night over the weekend, and I just uh, also Doris and Andrew come here every night. Um, they help me out. Uh, Doris actually gives me a massage and exercises my ankles and my feet, so you know that helps out too. So let me think of anything else. Uh, Home Depot people came out, uh, got me some uh, gifts over there. A little unicorn. I got a little Yoda over there from Megan. Um, I've got these. Uh, Ray, give me that exercise ball. So I got this ball. This is one of the things I use to exercise my hands with. This is a soft one for my fingers there. And I open and close them. So this, this ball actually um, um, I got from uh, um, 
my neighbor, Bobby Tweed. Um, this was Jeremy Tweed's, and she thought I could use it. So I'm gonna make use of this to get my strength back. So this means a lot to me as well. So I don't wanna get teary-eyed because there's meaning behind this. I'm not gonna explain it here. But yeah, did I forget anything else? Anything else, bro? Forgot about me. Yeah, I forgot about <laughs> my brother. Um, I'm gonna put a, just a really short clip of the machine. Um, the, it's the, the dialysis machine and it shows me hooked up to it. And every time I hook up to it, I, I feel like I'm the Borg, you know, from Star Trek. Resistance is futile. Um, every person I ask that comes in here, if they know what the Borg are, they don't know. I think one person. It's pretty funny how I, they're all young. Maybe, maybe I'm just, you know, I'm older or something. So I guess, I guess that's all, all I got for right now. Good news. I'm happy. I'm positive. Um, you know, just, just nothing but uphill, okay? So I, I'm going to promise you, you guys will see those videos of me doing Kajakembo and me doing some breaking. Um, oh, another thing, my, um, my uh, GoFundMe that Adrian made, um, you guys, phenomenal. The amount of money you guys are donating, every little bit helps. Um, keep sharing that, you know, donate, share, um, just the whole community, the San Diego B-Boy community, my Kaja Kembo Ohana, uh, Home Depot, just all my friends and family, you know, means a lot. Keep supporting, and uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to fight this. I'm going to beat this. So that's all I got for you guys. Peace out.